Hello there guys and welcome to my class 377. We're on the London to Brighton today and we're doing a scenario that comes with the add-on called Burst Pipes. So let's have a look what have we got here. A landslide has occurred due to burst water mains. It is, oh, it's gone now. Never mind. I hope you guys read that because I didn't get the chance to. It is now time to pick up the passengers here at London Victoria. So, here we are in our class 377. We'll get the doors open first. And then we shall prepa prepare the train for service. Now, I really like driving the class 377. It's a pretty standard train. It's very, it's very basic from what I can see. I mean... Yeah, it's it's just the front. I would say looks a bit like a 158, modified 158, a more modern version. Um, now that's just my opinion. Someone else might just not see that at all. But I mean, I really like it. The controls are fairly simplistic. You can see what everything does. Brilliant. Let's just get the lights on and flip to the back. Yep, everything's on. The passengers have boarded, and we can now move on to Clapham Junction. So think we'll just take it up. We don't want to go too fast because obviously we've got a red signal in front. So we'll just coast a steady 10 miles an hour. Might just need ah, there we go. So the speed limit out of Victoria is 20 miles an hour. So we'll just take it up there. So yeah, this is a short and sweet video for you. Well, it's a short and sweet scenario, to be honest, just because obviously, I, well, I'm guessing you don't want to be sat watching an hour of me driving a train. I don't think I can uh, carry on speaking for an hour without <laughs> repeating myself. So yeah, we're on an eight car unit today, and that is consisting of 377442 and 377412. So we've got two completely different units. And I'm aiming today to do a faultless run. I do like getting gold in the career scenarios. This is one that I've not done yet. And we're up to 40 there. So the next station for us will be Clapham Junction. So we just miss out a few little stations first of all. One thing I really like about this London to Brighton is you see quite a lot of AI traffic. One thing that I really don't like with routes is when they're a really quiet route and you don't really see a lot going on. Like this one you see a lot of 377s obviously that come with the add-on. But you also see some 450s. Um, I do like the 450 Southwest trains. I'm not Stagecoach's massive, uh, not Stagecoach's biggest fan. I much prefer First Group, Arriva, um, but the 450s, they're, they're alright to drive. I like them. There are Desiro as well. I really like Desiro units. Electro Stars as well. I mean, like I say, the 377s, 375s, 376s. Is there such a thing? I'm assuming there is. Um, yeah, 378 Capital Stars. Just Bombardier stuff in general. I really like Voyagers, the lot. I'm uh, a big fan. I'm not too keen on the fact that the new trains that they're ordering for the UK are mainly Hitachis. I mean, I... I'm sure there's nothing wrong with them, but I think the UK should order UK train building companies. It's just my personal opinion there. However, the Desiros are fantastic. The Germans know what they're doing with trains there. So yeah, they're a little exception to that rule. So I just need to remember to keep the brakes on here because it's quite... A sh uh, quite a steep downhill gradient. I normally end up speeding on this bit. And obviously, like I say, I'm, w I'm trying my best to get a faultless performance today. We shouldn't need 
any acceleration now. We should just roll in. Although it's 60 now, or it will be when my last coach passes, I don't think I'm going to bother speeding up just because we have got Clapham Junction in a third of a mile now, so I don't really see the point in that. We'll just let it roll. Now, I've never actually been on this line, so obviously, especially not from a driver's point of view, so I honestly can't say how accurate this is. Um, I mean, it's fairly good to drive. I, I like this route. Um, I really do like London to Brighton. I had the... Um, not London to Brighton. What's it called? Oh, yeah, it was London to Brighton that also went to Portsmouth for... Uh, oh, there's a 450. For Train Simulator. I can't think what it's called. Yeah, because you had the London to Brighton, but you also had Brighton to Portsmouth. So, here we are at Clapham Junction. We've got a 450 arriving on our left here, and it looks like we've got another 377. You never know, we might end up in a bit of a race here. Love those. Sorry, I just had to move over there for that. Ooh, driving without your lights on. That's one thing I noticed in Train Simulator. It's it's very... I mean, I don't know why they've not got their lights on. It's like a English thing that trains drive with their lights on. So I don't quite know why that AI has not. I mean, the 450 has. Has he down at the front? Yeah, he has. Oh, pay attention. Right. Passengers have boarded. We shall now depart for East Croydon. You will need to connect to the far car when you get there. Okay. Oh my god. He's going without us. Quick. So I am determined to beat this guy here. I don't know who he thinks he is driving with his lights off. I think he's on the slow line. He is. Yes. He can just eat my dust because, in the words of Bart Simpson, yeah, that's what I thought. Where is he? Is he just a four car unit then? Oh no! I've got it on full! I've got it on like maximum! Why is he accelerating faster? Oh yeah, we're on a corner, that happens, doesn't it? Also probably because he's got less units. Oh, maybe he is on the fast line! Oh, that's really bad. I was proper looking forward to totally beating him. Oh, we're, we're holding in there. As soon as this curve stops, we are going to overtake this guy. Because we're going to a 70. How dare this person. Sorry, I'm, I'm ranting a little bit. Right, let's focus on the track. Focus on the job in hand, and that is getting a faultless report. Don't let that moron at the side of me. My moron southern colleague distract me from the task in hand. He's probably stopping anyway. Does he not stop at stations? He should be. He should stop here. I don't think he's stopping here. If he is, he's going to need his emergency brake. Yeah. Yeah, he's not. Oh, could you imagine being stood on the platform as two trains almost race, almost appeared to race through the station? How cool would that be? Oh, he's slowing down. He's defo slowing down. Oh, he's stopping. So, yeah. Turn your lights on, dumbass. no idea where that station was that we've just passed through. I'm sorry, like on the uh, on the east coast, I uh, I gave a running commentary as to what stations we were passing through, but I've got absolutely no idea on this on this one because, like I say, I've not driven it before. <laughs> no, I've not that I've not driven it. I've, I don't. I'm not local. I'm not familiar. Well, 
Well, I know we're going via Brighton down fast Croydon. So I know we're going to have to stop and we're going to have to obtain permission from the signal man. That's always a farce. To obtain permission, because obviously we're going to need to couple up to another unit which is going to be sat on a stretch of track and oh my god the things they have me doing on this game. What time did we leave? Stop at London Victoria. Oh. Oh, so we've only got five minutes of scenario left if the time estimates are correct. Of which case we should be arriving fairly soon. Um estimated time of arrival at Croydon. Is that where we're stopping? Yeah, Croydon. Yeah. Estimated time of arrival at Croydon is seventeen thirteen. We're just chilling at 70 mile an hour. The track quality sounds really bad round here. As you're driving, all you hear is do 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 It's like, oh my god. Especially through this station, wherever we are. I think it would be quite good if they connected this line and the Portsmouth direct line. I think one thing that I've kind of noticed about Train Simulator is they like to charge you extortionate rates for things. It's like this Portsmouth direct line this isn't the Portsmouth direct line, ignore what I've just said, I'm talking garbage. This London to Brighton line is more expensive than the Microsoft Train Simulator equivalent. And the Microsoft Train Simulator equivalent, you had the London to Brighton, you also had the Brighton to Portsmouth um, as well for less money. So it does seem like, as well, the Portsmouth direct line on Microsoft Train Simulator was a free add-on. Called the Dorset Coast. That was one of my favourite routes. So it just seems a little bit of a shame that, like... Especially, as well, nobody has made my local route yet. I live in... Well, I, have, I live in West Yorkshire. And I think there really is a demand for somebody. Nobody has ever made the Manchester to York line via Huddersfield, Leeds. I think it needs to be done. It's a fantastic route. Lots of scenery. Personally, I love riding up and down on it. But for some reason, it's never been done for Train Simulator. I can't understand why that is. Um, if you live in London, you've probably had your route made for every simulation game ever just because for some reason they have this obsession with London. Um, but, you know, it's a nice route. It is actually one of, well, it's the main route in the north, really, connecting east and west. Right, let's have a look. So we're at double amber now. Just take that down to a steady. Steady 45. Don't want to derail or anything. I'm doing well so far with this scenario business. Contact the signaller so he can allow you into the station. Hello, colleague of mine. Request to pass signal at danger approved. So, we're into the station. Now, at Leeds, the approach at 25 mile an hour, so I think this is a suitable speed. I'm going to whiz around the corner now and smack straight into my uh, colleague in the unit in front. At a 
is what is likely to happen. And it looks like this service will be termina terminating here. So I think we'll just approach at one mile an hour. Can't go wrong with one mile an hour. There we go. You've connected to the four door, the four door, what the hell am I on? And let the passengers off. And we are now a 12 car unit. I'm assuming that's not that guy that I overtook earlier. Oh no, because he's got his lights on now. Yeah, I wonder why that guy did have his lights on, the other guy didn't. What a tosser. It doesn't look like he's stopping. Oh no, he is. I forgot AI traffic always goes right to the end of the platform. Whereas I like to kind of stop where there's shelter <laughs> so that the people don't have to get wet. Yep, the fictional passengers don't have to get wet. Anyway, that is all for me today. So, hopefully, subscribe if you like the video. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.